crispy cheeseburger egg rolls. We're going to do them a little differently, but these are the Adventureland cheeseburger egg rolls. Look at the cheese. Welcome to another episode of Disney Done Differently. I'm your host Chris, and today, Adventureland. Right outside is the cheeseburger egg roll cart. Yes, it is open. I just witnessed that. And how are we gonna make them? Well, we're gonna make them a little differently. But, we're gonna use egg roll wrappers. Why? Because we can. Folks, you can get these wrappers in any grocery store. Publix included. Look in the vegetarian section though. That's the key. Everyone looks for it in all different sections. It's in the vegetarian or vegan section. I'm not gonna do vegan. So let's make a couple of cheeseburger egg rolls and something to go with it. Let's go. All right, to start, what you want, you need to get yourself a good pair of cooking shears. All right, you got your cooking shears and we're gonna make these into bacon cheeseburger egg rolls. Uh, the reason I use cooking shears, if you ever tried to cut bacon um, that's not frozen, you know the trouble that that becomes. So we're just going to cut this into small little strips and that'll start to cook and from this we'll render out the bacon and move on to our next step. Alright as our bacon starts to render out, we have about a half of red onion. I'm adding red onion, you can use white onion. Don't. Uh, don't feel like you have to use exactly what I'm using when you're making this. Bacon and onion, folks. The flavor. Um, as you can see, see the bottom of the pot here? How it's starting to look brown? It's called a fond. And that's actually all the, all the good stuff that we're going to get up into uh, the rest of the cheeseburger mixture that we're making. So don't get nervous if you start to get that. I'm using a uh, porcelain cast iron pot. Um, you don't have to, you can use a saute pan, you can use a cast iron pot, pot. So now your bacon has some color on it, it's wilted down. At this point we're going to add a chopped meat. I'm using about a pound and a quarter of chopped meat. We'll just mix this through. We season it. Touch of salt. Some black pepper, garlic powder. Remember, you're building layers of flavor. You give that a quick mix. And you see, as the beef starts to re release its juices, remember that fond that I was telling you about on the bottom? See how it just incorporates into the meat. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to add Worcestershire sauce, about one tablespoon of dough. It's gonna bring out so much flavor. That's the uh, you'll you'll automatically start to see that the meat absorbs it. Um, Worcestershire sauce has so much uh, different spices in it. Um, you get a chance, look up the history of it because it was actually a mistake. Uh, it was left in a basement after trying to make uh, fortified wines. I believe it was fortified wines, and uh, after years they found it in, in basements and. It's been flavoring meats all over the world uh, for years to come. Now we got the Worcestershire that's cooking in, in there. At this point, we're gonna add ketchup. Um, I no longer refer to this as ketchup. This is now considered berry juice. Uh, why is it berry juice? Uh, my good friend from the Airbnb Disney podcast, Barry is uh, addicted to ketchup. Um, unfortunately, I'm almost out of this ketchup, but. That's about uh, two tablespoons of ketchup or berry juice. You just give that a mix through. You don't have to mix after each one. Um, next ingredient going in is yellow mustard. And for that, we're going to add about one tablespoon of yellow mustard. And that's going to give the, the tang to work against the um, Worcestershire sauce. Now, you should use dill pickles, and diced dill pickles is relish. So, I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of dill relish. 
You don't want the sweet stuff. It's going to add the sugar to it. You have enough sugar in the berry juice or the ketchup. And you're going to mix that around. Right away, you're going to start to smell the mustard and the ketchup and the Worcestershire. And the pickles start to mix in with the onion and the smokiness from the bacon. And it's starting to come together. And then all you have to do is add the star of the show. Here it is. Can't beat the Velveeta. For this dish, got to go with Velveeta. Don't go with Swiss. Never use Swiss. Why? Because it's got holes in it and you get less cheese. But uh, you can, there's tons of cheese that you can add to it. Do whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. But for the creaminess that I want and the consistency out of this, I'm going with the Velveeta. All right, we're going to just let this cook and then we'll come back to this in a minute. Okay, as you can see, the cheese is starting to become all incorporated. The meat is absorbing the melted cheese, the bacon. Oh, this smells delicious, guys. All right, so I just told you to use uh, relish, right? Because that's sliced up pickles. But these are the best pickles around for me. Um, and we're going to make a little dipping sauce for our cheeseburger egg rolls. So um, pulling out a couple of spears. Why is this one the best for me? I mean, look folks, you got the dill is in there. Um, you got pieces of garlic in the brine. Um, it's, it's, they're white pickles. It's not that sugar sweetness that uh, I really don't care for. Um, so we're just gonna give these a quick dice. Um, cut your pickle in half or however you have it. And you just wanna just dice these. Um, any shape will do. I like it chunkier because it is a sauce um, and take your time you don't have to cut this fast this comes from years of being underpaid all right and just put our Mickey board um, I just added some uh, berry juice ketchup to a bowl Japanese mayo why do I use Japanese mayo it's got more flavor right so it's got uh, egg yolks there's no measurement for this folks you do what you want to do. You don't even have to make this one. Dijon mustard. Why Dijon mustard? We just used yellow mustard in the other part, Chris. Dijon mustard has more spice to it, and I like it. And just to kick it up a notch, we're going to add a little of the good stuff. The sriracha. Not sriracha. Sriracha. And just a few drops will do you. And we'll add in the pickles. And we'll give this a mix. So here we have it. You can see, I mean, that is just some cheesy bacon cheeseburger goodness. We're going to put this off to the side. All I did was let it simmer from the last time that you've seen it. Um, we're going to put this right here. And now we're going to get into some egg rolls. Uh, what do you need? You need some room temperature water. And as I showed you in the beginning, I'm just going to use egg roll wrappers. All right, you can find these in any of your grocery stores. Where are they? In the vegan section. Go or to the vegetarian section. Um, Nasoya egg roll wrappers, they're excellent. Um, they're very pliable. And I'm going to show you. So just be careful because they do stick together. The water we're going to use is going to act like a glue. Now, I always tell you, don't be cheap, don't be, don't be chintzy with the amount of toppings that you put in. But with this, you, you really want to go with just a normal amount. I'm using about a tablespoon and a half because um, you don't want this to have any leaks. You're then going to just take some of the water, go around the edge like so. Okay, and this is going to work as your glue. How do we wrap it? Triangle to triangle, three quarters of a way. Push that down, nice and smooth. Bring this corner right to the middle. Make a little envelope. Now, everybody wants to flip that, don't do it. Bring this piece here to you. And you have a perfect envelope. Then you can flip it. Look at all your sides. I like to just finish it with a little bit of water, just a touch. And then just have a tray with paper towels set up. And we're just going to let that sit there. I'll make another one with you. 
and then I'll go ahead and make the rest. So we have one and a half. Oh, guys, you don't understand. The bacon, the smell of the cheese. What are we doing? We're going around. Wet the sides. And then triangle to triangle. Put, give it a little pat. Corner to corner. The water acts as the glue. And now we flip. No, we don't flip. You pull this corner here. Okay, see this corner? You pull this to you. And then if you need to, you just pinch the sides, pinch some of the edges, then roll it over. Perfect size. Look at that. It's like a Hot Pocket, but they're not a sponsor, so we're not calling them Hot Pockets. They're egg rolls! All right, so we're a little past 375. It's great because, remember, whenever you add something to oil, the temperature is actually going to come down. So you want it to be a little bit higher. So... Folks, use tongs, use a spatula, whatever you want. Um, it, don't be afraid. Uh, don't burn yourself. So I'm going to add these right in. Main thing you want to do is move them. As soon as you drop it in, you want to flip it over. Remember, when frying, you don't have to keep it in one position for the whole time. I'm just doing one at a time here just to show you guys. Um, they, they cook extremely fast. And remember, so now most of your ingredients that you have inside there, they're already cooked. So all we're doing is cooking the actual egg roll wrapper. Um, and if you sealed it properly, like I did here, you don't have to worry about anything getting out. I'm going to do this one nice and slow to show you. You want that golden color. They can go from nicely golden brown to too dark very fast. So you can always pull them out and always do a second fry if you'd like. There you go, look at that color. Have your stuff set up already. I got a paper, paper towel and a plate right here. I'm going to put those right there. And then I'm going to throw in two at a time for this one. Well, here you go. So we have all our egg rolls, nice and fried, it's a little hot. Um, I'm going to just push this to the side real quick. Um, we got our beautiful plate. Don't forget, so we made that sauce, right? With the, um, the berry juice, the mayonnaise, the mustard, uh, a little sriracha, and the pickles. See how I like it? Chunky. Uh, we're gonna use that in a second. All right, let's get one of these, these guys out of here. Let's do this. Let's go for a cut. Oh, there it is. Look at that, the, the cheese, the bacon, the meat. You just put this on a, on a plate so it's not like a crazy Neanderthal. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, sauce that I like. And um, you know what's next? The fun part, let's eat. All right. Mm. I love it. Oh, cheesiness, the bacon. It's amazing. But you know what? We made the sauce. Wow, this is really good. All the flavors come together. You get a little bit of that Worcestershire. We're going to get that sauce, though. It's going to be like a game changer. Speaking of game changer, do you know that Joffrey's has a coffee in Walt Disney World called the Game Changer? One of my favorites. Sauce. Let's go. Oh. You know what that is? 
That is a cheeseburger egg roll better than Adventureland because I'm in, it's just like cheeseburgers in paradise. Please make these at home. Send me in when you make them. They're easy. It's simple. There's no hidden magic here. Everything I did was right in front of you. A couple of simple steps. One pot, fry it in a separate pot. Go get your egg roll wraps. You got plenty. Great for party appetizers. Thank you for coming. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends to tell your friends. I'll be here until next time.